what is up guys and welcome to our week 3 of course battle against actually the Shatanoka Chestnut Still butchering that name I'm sure But it is against of course a mighty mighty Rudy and I say mighty because he's a very very strong player And he has a team that is very 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 strong And actually so strong that I'm not sure I can win this one Mostly because of Talonflame like seriously I have nothing that checks Talonflame Not even little uh, I am easily swept by plus two Talonflame. The only mon I have in my roster, and I'm not even joking here, the only mon I have in my roster that can take a plus two uh, Brave Bird is Pillswine, and it can't actually kill and return. It's a nightmare. Um, and the thing is, I can't outspeed Talonflame either, with of course the likes of Mega Dienchi, which of course with Diamond Stop will ruin it. The thing is, it learns Steel Wing, and Steel Wing will solve that for him. So Tower Flame is our number one enemy for this specific battle. And outside of that, he actually has Heatran, Dragonite, Mega Blastoise, Cresselia, Nidoking, Koopa, Bronzong, Mangtong, Gastrodon, Hiriyama, and Mr. Mime. And that's the thing. His whole team screams a lot of effective bulk. And of course, in contrast to that, uh, he actually have a lot of mons that can hit me offensively really well. Uh, one of them that's that now, of course, like I said, Talonflame, but also Mega Blastoise, Nino King, and uh, Hiriyama hits my team really well. I don't care for Mr. Mime. It would be really fun if he used it, but I see it's very unlikely. Uh, so I designed a team to basically survive him. Like, I'm building an offensive team, as always, duh. But an offensive team that can actually stand against some matchup that's going to be in this match. Depending on what he brings, I should be able to fend him off. So, with that said, we have uh, Gogo, of course. Everyone going over here, call the Scully page. This time, Adamant, enough speed to speed base 85, which is his second fastest mom, of course, the likes of Cresselia and Nuking. Uh, Adamant Nature with Koba Berry. And enough defense investment here to take a Brave Bird at, um, well, like Brave Bird plus Stealth Rocks. That is definitely what I need. I started at full offensive. And uh, it, it's the only thing it's gonna do is lure in the Talon Flame and uh, kill it in return, basically. That's the only thing it can do, the only thing it's made to do. And um, that should be working, basically. And uh, next one is gonna be Jellison standard defensive set. Being able to take on actually the likes of Hiriyama really well, but also it doesn't really is that scared of he Heatran, Dragonite, can't take a hit from a Talonflame, actually plus two, but as stated previously, can't uh, kill it in return. Then we make a blast, so it's probably the one that can take it on. Cresselia can't hurt it, Nido King can hurt him, uh, which I do believe a Cold War rare for this specific battle due to knockoff from potentially Hiriyama, which is a switch into the Will O Wisp. Hoopa could kill us, really nasty actually. Uh, we can't take on Bronze Song, we can't take on can't take on Magneton. But outside of that, um, Jellicent does really well for this matchup as a defensive response, not offensive. Defensively it works well. Um, it's definitely a mod that's gonna fall for this battle uh, for one of many reasons, but uh, definitely one of the reasons is that it just can't uh, it's one of the few defensive mana I have for this specific battle and it can't just take that much damage. It really really can't. So its only main function is gonna be take hits, survive them hopefully recover then get out that, that's the only thing it can do and i'm pretty sure it's, it's gonna fall early because by design the smoke pokemon basically s shuts down at least one talent flame process and that's the only thing i'm gonna go for like one talent flame situation if i re resolve that with a healthy jelly sense then i'm fine and uh, then we have dianchi uh, being actually a bit more defensive this time it's going to be able to take and uh, if it's not evolved a bullet punch from hiriyama which is something that's not very easy to do, but I actually can't pull that off. But it's, if I am uninvolved, yeah, it's going to pull that off. Outside of that, I do believe it takes like 80% or something like that. So, you know, after two to three rocks, I should be able to be fine coming in and out. Because I do assume that I'm going to fail to uh, avoid a rock situation. Uh, then other than that, we have Moonblast, uh, Power, and Diamond Storm. Diamond Storm specifically for Talonflame. Uh, we're going to see out, of course, the likes of Steel Wing. I don't have rock polish, I don't see the points outside of course. Well, if, if Talonflame outspeed, which is most likely will do, but it has to be Jolly. If it is um, Adamant, then it's actually not as threatening. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna bring Jolly set here for reasons of outspeeding Giant Chi and its mega form. 
Follow that up by Hydreigon, this time being specially defensive. Very, very unique Hydreigon for this battle. Um, enough speed, enough speed Cresselia. And then after that, some investment special attack, but most is actually the special defensive side. And it's basically because this thing is probably going to be the one of the few that's going to stand against Mega Blastoise, even though we don't want it. It has substitute in contrast to Funny Wave. Um, yeah, and also that bulk is kind of to ruin Talonflame versus it. And if I get the thing um, paralyzed, then at least um, the Inchek Love speeds it. Uh, outside of that, we have Dark Pulse and Nerve Powers, so neutral damage and at least everything, and actually most likely to do super effective damage on almost anything. With nothing to it, it's a very, very simple set for this specific game, but uh, defensive response is good because this thing threats things out, and uh, that's pretty much all we need. It threats out Hoopa, it threats out Cresselia, and I can substitute on that switch out. Now, Hiriyama is probably going to be a demand that's going to come in. We can't necessarily hurt it all that well. But at least we can kind of gauge with knockoff and probably get two earth powers freely on it. Uh, that is going to be followed up by a specially heavy defensive Palace One. I can't believe I'm bringing Palace One yet again for this battle. But my god, I need rocks. I really need rocks. I need something I can ice shot if I bring an offensive dragon. I've done it once, probably can do that twice. And the thing is here. Palace One can't really do all that much for this battle, but Special Defensive One can take on Magneton. That's going to be important. It can't, can't, it can't take on Nido King without really having to worry about it. So there are situations here where it simply works. It even can take uh, Specs Fire Blast from uh, Heatron. So I really like Palace One as a very, very, very like tanky mom that can retaliate rather hard, and that's the function it's gonna fill. I shot Earthquake, Toxic for possible Cresselia, and then Self Rocks. And then we're going to our last one, being of course Trevenant. Now Trevenant is actually really good for this game. If you actually don't look at Talonflame, you do realize that it's actually really good. <laughs> it's, we're going to bring an Assault Vest variant this time, with enough speed creep to actually outspeed a defensive Cresselia that is, an 85 base. I am basically making my Trevenant rather fragile but heavily offensive. And uh, it basically have a possibility of one-shotting things. We have, of course, this time Horn Leech because we need some kind of recovery after all. And Shadow Claw, Earthquake, Rock Slide. Hits everything effectively on his team and should be able to take on any matchup outside of Talonflame. And um, I actually call it how much heat run due to it if it is offensive Fire Blast. And it actually at best is due around 80%, so that's actually kind of mighty. And uh, I can kill it in return with, of course, the likes of Earthquake. So, uh, and of course with Natural Cure, which is actually Natural Wheels, it should be able to soak any possible status from Cresselia. And that's going to be extremely important. Um, it can't offensively check Dragonite, I should say that. But if I break it with, of course, the like of Stealth Rocks, it's going to be able to take it on. Now, I had both Foros and Drapion designed for this battle, but eventually decided on Trevenant. They're, they're all good for this battle, um, they're not amazing, but outside of that, Trevenant actually ensure that it offensively checks Blastoise, even if it packs Earthquake, or I mean Dark Pulse, uh, and it can spin on us. Consider that his only nat natural spinner of this battle is Mega Blastoise, Trevenant is gonna fill a role that I do believe um, Rudy will have a hard time keeping up with. Having that said, Talonflame is an issue. Talonflame will always be an issue for this battle, and that's annoying. But hopefully, I you know I'll figure something out as this battle goes on. It's a very tough game, and I'm not feeling very confident I'm gonna win this one. But this is the best idea I got, and this is actually the second week that I actually go out of my way, not playing the way I really wanted to, going a bit on the tricky side and hope to gain something from it. It didn't pay off against Trip. I'm feeling it's not going to pay off here either, but at least, you know, this is probably my best chance of trying it out. And um, I'm if I had to guess which P or which Pokemon it's going to bring, I feel Heatron, I feel Dragonite, Talonflame, Mega Blastoise, Cresselia, and then it's wide open. But if I had to make a guess, I'm going to say Hiriyama, but I kind of wouldn't be surprised if I saw Nido King either. But that's about it. Dragonite actually works really well against me, and um, even with this team, I feel that I can't really take it on properly, and uh, this that pretty much the reason Pillow Swine is here, because at least that can take it on rather well. 
And uh, I think that's pretty much the size of things. I'm going to try to get up rocks. I'm going to try to, uh, like, check his mon early. And I'm going to try to at least ensure that Talonflame gets residual damage. Doesn't get the chance to set up. Because it's something I can't figure out. It's something I can't solve. If he goes plus two with his Channel Flame and has rocks up, he wins this match. It's pretty much all of it. Like, like I said earlier, sure the recall is there, but he will just ruin me, and it's gonna it's gonna be just ugly to watch. But yeah, that's the team analysis for week three, and uh, pretty much, guys, wish me luck because I'll definitely need it this time. So, thank you so much for watching, and uh, you'll see the game tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. Coming up on Monday, yeah, yeah. Gonna upload that battle tomorrow, when I've had it. Uh, which should be, <laughs> never mind. I uh, haven't had a battle yet, is what I'm trying to say. So, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, which of course will be in battle tomorrow. Hey, <laughs> anyway guys, take care, bye.